Hi everybody. Today I am going to discuss about moment of inertia or second moment of area. First moment of area is commonly used to determine the centroid of an area. But the second moment of area of a beam is an important property. And it is used in the calculation of the beam's deflection, which is inversely proportional to the moment of inertia. Here, I have taken a plan area of irregular shape to calculate the efficiency of this area. Efficiency of a shape means how it resists bending caused by loading. To measure efficiency or strength of a building's beam or column, we calculate moment of inertia of the cross sections because it plays an important role in the design of structures. The moment of inertia about axis, say y axis or z axis, it is a measure of how difficult it is to rotate the plane area. An object with large moment of inertia needs a large turning force to achieve a given angular acceleration. Very important points to understand. Here, I have written a moment of inertia is made up of areas multiplied by squares of distances. So as per this, if we want to find IY, so we need integral this one, IY equal to Z squared dA. Or if we want to find moment of inertia with respect to Z, so we need integral like this one, IZ equal to Y squared dA. If we look at this, what it can see, z square, y square, it is nothing but squares of distances. And the distances are here, z and y, multiplied by differential area. That's what it says, area multiplied by squares of distances. I want to tell about two properties, I mean, one is very important that a moment of inertia is always positive and it is a measure of how much area is located how far from a line very simple concept of this so in the next slide we'll see how to drive a formula for moment of inertia if the section is a rectangular section so let's move ahead to see. A beam with a section having y axis, x axis, I mean x axis on this direction, it is along the beam and z axis here. So width is B, height is H. We need differential area. About y axis, I have taken differential area DA at a distance z from y axis. So dA easily we can write dy dz. 
now moment of inertia that integral i y equal to z square d a if we replace d a by d y d z and another important point here i want to mention that to solve this or to find the formula we will use double integrals as it is a multiplication of dy and dz so easily we can use double integrals so here limit is minus h by 2 to h by 2 it is this direction and here b by 2 to minus b by 2 it is in these directions and dy dz z square only the things i added here da equal to dy dz here important point is first integration i mean this one limit is minus b by 2 to b by 2 and dz this is first integrations no dy minor because this is the directions if we look at minus b by 2 to plus b by 2 in this direction so we have to use dy so if we do integrations for dy it will be y and having upper limit lower limit b by 2 minus b by 2 so this is done so this b by 2 i mean this b by 2 and b by 2 after putting here what you get here it is a strip of b d z so what you can say our first integration i mean this was our first integration with dy here results is y putting the upper and lower limit we got it is b because b by 2 minus b by 2 minus it will be plus so it will come as only b so b and dz already here so b dz if you look at b dz it is actually it produces a strip look at this strip it produces b dz height so this is the strip it produces so we can say fast integration produces b dz strip now in the next stage what you will do if we do integrations second integrations i mean z square so it will create z cube by 3 having limit h by 2 minus h by 2 these two so this total it will appear as say this one b h cube because if we put this upper limit lower limit it appears as this so this is the result after doing the second integrations so it will cover the whole area with this results that is a whole area it is covered it means our result is bh cube by 12 after second integrations so we got moment of inertia i y equal to b h cube by 12 this whole part 
In the next slide, we will calculate moment of inertia IZ. Same thing dA equal to dy dz. Here also we will use double integrals. So moment of inertia iz y square dA. Our next step will be putting the limits because this is double integrals. b by 2 minus b by 2. h by 2 minus h by 2. So h by 2 minus h by 2. This direction so h by 2 minus h by 2 we are considering this dz with this limit so it will be our first integrations because this y square dy, it will be with this one. So dz, we are getting z. Having limit h by 2 minus h by 2. So if we put this upper limit and lower limit, it appears as this one. So it also creates a strip h dy. Because this value comes as h and dy already is here, so h dy. So surely our strip will be created in this direction. Because this is h multiplied by dy, it will give the strip. So we can say here first integration, it produces this and at an end we can say we got strip h dy, this one. But we need whole area. So what we will do, we have to do integration, I mean second integrations. So let's move ahead. So after doing second integration, we get y cube by 3 because y is square after integration y cube by 3 putting the upper limit and lower limit we will get this this is the result after second integrations and this result means it will cover the whole area because first integration we got only this strip but after second integration this value will cover the whole area and we got our formula as h b cube by 12 Here I have taken beam, putting load over that, beam 1 and beam 2. It shows here more bending, second one showing more bending because height is less, this one height is more. So height more means there will be less deflection, less bending. So we are taking section here as this B and H from this beam and this one from this beam. Here H is greater than B. 
here h is less than b just we want to compare in this situation what will be the moment of inertia if we use i y bh cube by 12 our result appear as this one 853,000 centimeter to the power 4 but for this section as I told height is less than B so surely the value will be less it is only 53,000 16 times more this one having height greater than width that is why I have written here beam 1 is better than beam 2 for resisting bending. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.